Hi and a very good evening to all of you. I hope you all are doing good and preparing well for the upcoming examination. As you all know, I am Gulapsa, your mentor for finance and I welcome you once again to another session of finance answer writing practice. As the dates are announced for the RBI grade B examination that is to be held on 9th of July followed by a phase 2 on 38th of July. So one thing which we should be very cautious about is that between these two phases of your examination, phase 1 and phase 2, a limited time will be available to you. That is just hardly 20 days. And you have to use this 20 days and how do you use it? Karo ke? What maximum you can do is you can revise whatever the concepts that you have studied and practice answer writing. But this means that you will have a lot of pressure at that time. Therefore, it is logical and it makes sense that we are doing our answer writing practice. So if you have been regular with me, even if you are not taking up your pen and paper or not typing on the computer per se, if you are uh, being diligent enough to follow all of these videos, I am pretty sure that in the examination, mein kaisa bhi question a jai, you will be in a very comfortable position to answer all of these. Why so? In all of these video series that we have taken, both me and Parul ma'am, we have tried to cover different dimensions of the topic, right? And different dimensions as to how an examiner can put forward a question. Theek hai? Aur har dimension ki through, humne aapko ye batane ki koshish kari hai ki agar aise question ko twist kiya gaya, ya fir exam mein agar aisa question aata hai, to aap isko kaise approach karne wale ho, right? So, with this, Let's get started because Ash ke session mein me, it is going to be one of the most important session because we are going to take up or we are going to see how to frame an answer if the answer or if the question has been asked from one of the speeches that are given by the RBI governor and the other deputy governors. We all know speech kitna important hota hai. RBI ki website pe aap jaoge, ek alag hi section hai uska, to vahaan se question ko dekhne wale hai. But before that, these are the pointers that we have already discussed in our first finance answer writing class. But I have just written it once again for you to see and you to remind that you need to make use of all of these. Aapko in pointers ko fit se apne dimaag mein rakhna hai if you have forgotten and even if you are practicing one question per day or one question per week, I always ask you please practice in an exam like environment. So please isko zaroor follow karna in pointers ko so that you are more comfortable with the environment in which you will be going to write your answers. Theek hai? So, phase 1 se pehle, humne already May 1 se start kar diya hai, the revision classes, the crash course, whereby we will be revising the entire finance and the entire syllabus for finance and management, theek hai, so that you get ample time to prepare for your phase 1 plus after phase 1, you have enough time to go through the leftover topics. So, let's get started. As I have mentioned, we all know the RBI website, aisa dikta hai kuch and if you look at the RBI website, there is a section called speeches and interviews. One one of the very important se uh, session, which is uh, one of the very important session, the uh, section hai ye, speeches and interviews ka and question we have seen that question has been asked in phase 2 of your examination plus yaha se question aapke interview mein aane ke bohut zyada chances hai. Now there are n number of speeches which, uh, speeches which I have taken is from the month of January 2023. Hai? So yaha se we can see that in the month of January two speeches were delivered by the governor of RBI that is Shakti Kanta Das. One was on the financial markets in India, stability and development and the second speech was about the macroeconomic challenges that the South Asian countries are facing. Hai? This we have already talked about in one of our RBI 247 videos. If you have not please go back and have a watch on this. And today we are going to practice an answer writing from this topic. Financial market ke baare mein hai. You all know this topic is very important from your exam perspective. If I try to give a reference, dene ki koshish karun, then in one of your previous year examination, previous year questions, if you take RBI, ke, there was a question, a statement that was directly taken from one of these speeches and that statement was based on inflation ki inflation kaise disequilibrium create karti hai to uske upar ek question tha and this question aapke examination mein pucha gaya tha 
therefore based on this i have taken up another question for all of you guys let's see how we are going to tackle such a question aur kaise hame is question ko answer karna hai apne uh, agar exam mein pucha jaye to right so let's get started with the question so the question which i have framed for you from this speech says that since the global financial crisis of 2007 8 the world has moved from one storm to another yet the journey of the indian financial markets have been or has been driven by two key objectives stability and development कॉमेंट तो अगर आप फर्स्ट टाइम इस क्वेश्चन को पढ़ोगे यू विल बी नॉट वेरी श्योर एज टू वट शुड बी योर आंसर और आप इसको कैसे स्ट्रक्चर करने वाले हो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट यू शुड बी वेरी क्लियर दैट यू आर गोइंग दिस इज एन एनालिटिकल बेस्ड क्वेश्चन वेर बाय यू नीड टू एनालाइज ईच स्टेप एंड देन आंसर accordingly right you need to provide both the points that is the positive as well as the negative is a, if available and then you need to answer such a question here one thing which you can also appreciate is that they are linking so here there is a linkage of two topics the global financial crisis that happened in 2007 eight followed by your financial markets which is very important if you are preparing for examinations like rbi sebi and even for ifsc it is an important part of your syllabus ठीक है तो इस क्वेश्चन में अगर आप देखोगे है द टॉक अबाउट हाउ अ नंबर और अ सीरीज ऑफ क्राइसिस सिचुएशन और टर्बल इंसिस हैज हैपेंड इन द ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी व्हिच हैज इंपैक्टेड द इंडियन इकोनॉमी एज वेल फॉर इंस्टेंस द ग्लोबल फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस हैपेंड इन 2007-8 द यूरोजोन सोवरेन डेट क्राइसिस दैट हैपेंड इन 2011 इन रिस्पांस टू द ग्लोबल फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस द यूएस फेड स्टार्टेड विद द विद समथिंग कॉल्ड क्वांटिटेटिव ईजिंग and in 2013 the quantitative easing was taken back by something called fed tapering tapering aa gaya tha 2013 mein similarly if you know then brexit happened covid 19 pandemic happened which had a huge impact on india and finally what we had seen in the last year the entire financial year of 2022 we have seen the impact of the russia ukraine war on the indian economy so these are certain turbulences turbulences certain storm that our financial market the indian financial market has gone through with so ye to ho gaya ki kya kya crisis ya kya kya turbulence Lenses has happened in the in this time frame from 2007 till date. Okay. Now the question says that the journey of the Indian financial market has been driven by two key objectives: stability and development. Here, the question or the key word from which you can take out from this question is that you need to talk about the responses, the policy responses that has been taken by the RBI. The Reserve Bank of India ने क्या क्या responses लिए हैं क्या क्या policy toolkits use किए हैं in order to respond to all of these crises that had impacted the Indian financial market, the Indian financial stability and thereby trying to maintain macroeconomic stability as well as financial stability and development in the economy. So आपका जो पूरा answer होगा the entire body part to this question will revolve around what key responses has been taken by the Reserve Bank. ठीक है वन मोर थिंग दैट यू शुड कीप इन माइंड इज दैट सिंस ऑल ऑफ दीज क्राइसिस और टर्बल इंसिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल ग्लोबल फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस हैर इम्पैक्टेड इंडिया इन अ डिफरेंट वे सिमिलरली फेड tapering impacted india in a different way therefore or the magnitude of the impact was different for each of these turbulences therefore it makes sense for you also to categorize your answer whereby you are going to say that since these crises had impact on india in a different magnitude therefore rbi has also tried to come up with a customized approach customized policy response for all of these crisis situation and therefore aap apne answers ko bhi waise hi produce karoge waise hi present karoge whereby for the global financial crisis we'll talk about what policy response rbi brought into for example rbi reduced the uh, cash reserve ratio policy repo rate was reduced so another uh, unconventional tools were also used for example swap lines were used by the central banks so aise kuch responses the jo rbi ne us waqt use kiya kiya tha because during the global financial crisis the economy or demanded or the financial market demanded liquidity in the market 
मतलब फाइनेंशियल मार्केट में लिक्विडिटी होनी चाहिए थी सिमिलरली फिर टॉक अबाउट द कोविड नाइनटीन पेंडेमिक अगेन लिक्विडिटी वॉज टू बी बूस्ट इन द इकोनॉमी एक्सपेंशनरी मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी वॉज यूज अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट सेवरल अनकन्वेंशनल मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी मेजर्स वे टेकन फॉर एग्जाम्पल लॉन्ग टर्म रेपो ऑपरेशन और टारगेटेड रेपो ऑपरेशन वे टेकन इन टू अकाउंट Similarly, uh, GSAP was something that was introduced during uh, the COVID-19 pandemic. Again, another term called Operation Twist was also talked about during the COVID-19 pandemic. So, ये कुछ responses हैं जो RBI उस वक्त लेकर आया था in order to maintain the stability in the economy. So, you are going to mention all of these. I see. I know all of you will be knowing कि हर crisis में क्या response RBI लेकर आए थे. The answer that you are going to write. Here is just a gist of all these responses, and finally, you are going to conclude that RBI has been very prudent while taking this approach and has come up with customized approach for all of these turbulent situation that India had faced. So let's see how we are going to answer such a question. Very important topic. मुझे बहुत पसंद आया ये question frame करते हुए, and the answer I am pretty sure आप सबको पसंद आएगा. And this answer and this question is surely going to give you. a totally different dimension as to how to approach your answer aapko apne answer ko kaise frame karna hai that you are going to learn with me in today's session so let's see how to start the answer with sabse pehle we'll talk about the different turbulences that we had faced to yahan pe yahi cheez mention ki gayi hai whereby i have written that from the global financial crisis to the eurozone sovereign debt crisis from the taper tantrum to brexit from unprecedented quantitative easing to among the most accelerated monetary tightening in the recent times kyu hua russia ukraine crisis was one of the major reason jiski wajah se global slowdown dekhne ko mili thi from a pandemic that is a covid 19 pandemic which brought human kind to a standstill to a geopolitical crisis which has threatened the world order as it exists today a number of events and turmoil situation has happened and that has tested the endurance or the stability or the resilience of the indian financial market such a beautiful introduction and this has been taken from that speech itself to aap aise speech ko kaise use kar sakte ho you can what you can do is you can take out such good introduction such good liners from those speeches write it down somewhere and you can revise before your phase 2 examination so that if you produce such introduction to the examiner examiner the examiner is going to be very happy with the introduction this introduction it's very catchy and this is going to fetch you additional marks in the एग्जाम ठीक है आई होप आपको इंट्रोडक्शन समझ आ गया वीव टॉक्ड अबाउट की सेवरल क्राइसिस सेवरल टर्बुलेंसेस इज हैपन हाउ एवर नंबर ऑफ इवेंट्स इज हैपन हाउ एवर दैट however all of them has tested the stability and the resilient of the indian financial market but the rbi has been very much resilient in responding to all of these situation क्राइसिस मैनेजमेंट आरबीआई की क्या थी वो हम इसमें डिस्कस करने वाले हैं तो हेयर वी कैन से दैट हाउ एवर द इंडियन फाइनेंशियल मार्केट हैज बीन एट अ ग्रोइंग स्टेज एंड क्राइसिस मैनेजमेंट बाय आरबीआई हैज बीन अ की कंपोनेंट ड्यूरिंग दिस जर्नी ठीक है एज सच इवन ड्यूरिंग द वर्स्ट स्टॉर्म्स द परसुट ऑफ डेवलपमेंटल रिफॉर्म्स विद द की ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ वाइडनिंग एंड डीपनिंग द फाइनेंशियल मार्केट हैज बीन कंटिन्यूड एंड एज अ रिजल्ट आवर फाइनेंशियल सिस्टम हैज रिमेंड रेजिलियंट एंड स्टेबल सो so, सिंपल है आपने बस बता दिया कि आर फाइनेंशियल मार्केट की जो स्टेबिलिटी है जो रेजिलेंट है उसको टेस्ट किया है इन क्राइसिस ने बट विथ द क्राइसिस मैनेजमेंट दैट आर बी आई हैज़ टेकन एंड विद द लर्निंग दैट इट हैज़ बिन टेकिंग फ्रॉम ऑल द क्राइसिस सिटुएशन वी कैन सेफली से दैट विथ all of these crisis uh, or management policy that has been taken by rbi we have been able to achieve the objective of widening our financial markets and trying to continue to be more resilient and stable in terms of our financial system so this was the introduction that you could have written for such an answer now let's move forward to the body part a body part ke liye ek separate heading aap de sakte ho whereby you can say that these are the policy responses that has warranted stability and development the terms you need to mention jo aapke question mein mention tha to in terms ko aap mention karne wale ho to the indian financial markets to agar aap question dekhoge it says that uh, the indian financial market has been driven by two key objectives ability and development aur iske bare mein ab hum discuss karne wale hain so you can say that every successive 
episode of turmoil and global headwinds has posed a specific set of challenges so each of them had a specific set of challenges needs to be approached in a different customized manner right for the economy and therefore required specific policy responses and these are the following are the policy responses to the major headwinds the major uh, turmoil situation jisne india pe zyada impact kiya hai uske policy responses ke bare mein hum baat karne wale hain starting with the very first one that is the global financial crisis of 2008 so here you can say that ab baat kar sakte ho that in 2008 the policy policy action what was the aim during the global financial crisis the aim was at ensuring comfortable system liquidity in the market and augment the forex reserves by maintaining a crisis management framework to support the economy therefore conventional tools were used for example policy interest rates and cash reserve ratio were reduced 6% say to almost 3.25% kar diya gaya tha similarly unconventional measures were also used for example rupee dollar swap facility for the indian banks refinancing window for the mutual funds as well as coming up with a special purpose vehicle for supporting the non bank financial companies to ye kuch measures the jo rbi ne liye the in order to respond to the global financial crisis next come quantitative easing which was taken up by the us fed reserve to respond to the global financial crisis but in 2013 we all know ki taper tantrum uh the fed tapering happened and as a result something called taper tantrum started happening what is what was taper tantrum so quantitative easing ki case mein the us fed reserve started purchasing a lot of assets from the public thereby reducing the interest rate in the us market so people had lot of money with them but the interest rate in the us economy was very less therefore the us investors started shifting all of their money in developing countries for example india or india ke stock market mein paisa invest karne lage but as the us government announced taper uh, as a us government announced fed, uh, fed tapering the interest rate in the us economy started increasing and liquidity in the market started going down in that case all of these us investors started withdrawing money from the indian market thereby leading to a crash in the stock market of india and investing those money in their own home uh, in their own home country because now uh, stability mil jayegi exchange rate risk nahi rahega and they are now getting a better return in their own home country so as people or us investors and other investors started taking out money from the indian economy this resulted in a depreciation of our currency and in order to support the rupee from depreciating the rbi intervened in the market and started supplying dollars into the market to so, jaise rbi dollars market mein supply kar rahi thi rbi was sucking the excess rupee from the market this resulted in a liquidity crunch for the banking sector because the bank were now no were now not left with rupee because rupee rbi ke पास चली गई बिकॉज आरबीआई स्टार्टेड सप्लाइंग डॉलर इन टू दी इकोनॉमी एंड दिस वाज नोन एज टेपर टैंट्रम पैसे लोग निकालने लगे और इंडिया में रुपी को सपोर्ट करने के लिए आरबीआई स्टार्टेड विद अनकन्वेंशनल मेजर्स बाय इंटरवीनिंग इनटू द मार्केट एंड देयर बाय दैट रिजल्टेड इन लिक्विडिटी क्रंच इनटू द इंडियन मार्केट सो लेट्स सी हाउ यू कैन राइट सो एज द फेड रिजर्व अनाउंसड टेपरिंग एंड क्वांटिटेटिव ईजिंग tapering of the quantitative easing in 2013 rbi's policy response was to restore confidence of the market participants and contain the pressure of the rupee jo bhi humne discuss kiya as a result the rbi used both direct intervention and administrative measures kya kya administrative measures liya for example import restrictions were applied on non essential items a special dollar swap window facility was opened borrowing limit for example external commercial borrowings were also increased foreign investment in debt in government debt specifically was enhanced and a restriction was imposed on outward investment flow for example restrictions on liberalized remittances scheme as well as on exchange traded derivatives so these were certain administrative measures which were taken by rbi so that rupee could uh, so that we could support the rupee then and we can uh, we can also Uh, come up with certain situation so all of these for example special dollar facility ya fir agar aap enhance kar rahe ho foreign investment in debt 
all of these will result in boosting the forex of our country okay now let's move forward to the third major turmoil situation that happened that was the covid 19 pandemic we all know covid 19 pandemic ke time mein bhi the overall global demand went down therefore the policy response or the time the covid 19 kind covid 19 wanted liquidity to be maintained in the economy and people to demand more therefore what necessitated was a focused policy response and to address the emerging and the potential market dislocations as a result the policy corridor was also asymmetrically widened you all know that uh, policy repo rate was reduced cash reserve ratio was re was reduced from 4% to 3% and similarly the policy jo hamara corridor hai the policy corridor consisting of repo rate in between then we have msf and we also had the reverse repo rate which is now uh, replaced by the stf theek hai isse humne isko replace kiya hua hai so ideally the policy corridor has a limit of 0.5 or a 50 basis point but during the covid 19 pandemic this was increased to 65 basis point 65 basis point se increase karne ka kya matlab hua yahan pe this means that rbi was discouraging banks from depositing depositing their money with rbi repo rate ko bahut reverse repo rate ko bahut zyada kam kar diya gaya tha so that it disincentivizes these uh, these commercial banks from depositing their money with rbi rather making use of these money to give loans to the people theek hai and therefore the policy repo rate was asymmetrically widened from 50 basis point to 65 basis point again in order to improve the transmission of the policy rate transmission ko bhi hame improve karna tha and ensure the flow of credit unconventional measures were taken by rbi unconventional measures such as uh, targeted long term repo operations ltro uske alawa refinance facilities were also provided to the all india financial institutions the government uh the rbi also made use of the government securities acquisition program which was later taken back because of the inherent limitations jo humne gsap mein dekhe the right apart from that rbi also came up with special open market operations for example operation twist was brought into picture for orderly evolution of the yield curve and liquidity management so all of these terms you all know it's it is just how you are going to consolidate your answer and all of these pointers has been taken from that specific speech that was given by the rbi governor shaktikanta das lastly jo hum recently humne face kiya hai that is the russia ukraine war so the russia ukraine war also resulted in a multi decadal high level of commodity prices and inflation we all know how the developed countries across the world and even india started raising its policy repo rate so that inflation and the commodity prices could be contained so we can say that the russia ukraine war resulted in a, uh, disrupting the global supply chains which resulted in commodity prices uh, reaching sky rocketing levels as well as inflation hitting the economy really hard as a result the major central banks accelerated the policy rate hikes jo humne abhi discuss kiya hai and tightening of the monetary policy to tackle the inflationary pressure however they spiraled the financial market volatility and posed considerable pressure on the rupee inflation ko contain karte karte depreciation hone lagi hamari rupee ki we all know how the rupee reached to the 80 mark 80 ko bhi cross kar chuka tha इसीलिए वॉट वॉज द पॉलिसी रिस्पॉन्स दैट दी आर बी आई हैड टेकन सो आर बी आई हैड कम अप विद सेवरल एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव मेजर्स इन ऑर्डर टू कंटेन द आउटफ्लो जो भी आउटफ्लो हो रही थी आउटफ्लो हो रही थी मनी की सो पीपल वेर डिमांडिंग डॉलर इन सप्लाइंग रुपी विच वॉज क्रिएटिंग द अप्रीसिएशनरी प्रेशर ऑन द रुपी दे फॉर इन ऑर्डर टू कंटेन दीज आर बी आई के माप विथ इंसेंटिवाइजिंग नॉन रेसिडेंट डिपॉजिट्स इंटरेस्ट रेट्स वेर वेर इंक्रीज ऑन दीज डिपॉजिट्स एंड अदर सेवरल मेजर्स वेर इंट्रोड्यूस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू रिमेंबर दैन ड्यूरिंग जुलाई जुलाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू आर बी आई केम अप विथ समथिंग कॉल्ड लिबरलाइजिंग दी 
forex flows and it had come up with certain five pointers for example increasing the limit of external commercial borrowings encouraging non resident deposits that is a foreign currency non resident deposit aise bahut sare measures rbi lekar aaya tha july 2022 ke time pe in order to contain the economy right apart from that foreign investments in debt instruments and external commercial borrowings i have talked about iski limit bhi increase kar di gayi thi from 75 million us dollars to 1.5 billion us dollars now export would also badly hit therefore in order to promote export and support the interest in the global and support the increasing global interest in the rupee we all know trade settlements started happening in rupee an additional arrangement was uh, Uh, was made whereby invoicing payment and settlement of export or import was to be done in rupees so these were certain measures that were introduced by rbi in order to fight back and in order to respond to such turbulences that was happening in the economy so i hope aapko samajh aa gaya hai ki aapko body ko kaise cater karna tha and this has been a very simple answer jo specifically aapke speech se uthaya gaya hai the speech right so you can see how you can frame such a beautiful answer aur kaise aap pointers utha sakte ho in order to answer any of the question in your examination theek hai so how are we going to conclude conclusion mein aap ek point jo bahut zyada stress karne wale ho the point is that rbi since all of these were different therefore rbi had come up with specific policy responses and has been customized had come up with customized responses to all of these turbulences so you can say that yes so you are reiterating the fact that thus it is evident that rbi's response to each episode of turmoil has been customized in terms of policy objectives and choices and the use of toolkits the monetary policy toolkits that rbi has used it is also apparent that all of these reforms have been aimed at deepening the onshore financial market so which with each episode of turmoil rbi or the financial system of india has been more resilient and more stable usi ko ye yahan pe bata rahe hain ki isse hamari jo financial market hai that has been more deepened with more number of financial products with more number of participants and thereby increasing the efficiency of price discussion. recovery and thus making the journey of the indian financial market a story of steady progress with stability and resilience that draws its strength from the macro economic fundamentals so our macro economic fundamentals are so are so strong enough and the policy responses that rbi has taken up all of these has ensured that our objective of addressing all of these crises would be driven by two key objectives that is stability of both the indian banking system as well as the indian financial system and the development of the economy so i hope you like the answer the question that we have discussed right now speeches ko please ignore mat karna even if you don't have time please go through this video this is going to give you a good insight as to how you are going to take out pointers from these speeches again it is very difficult yes i i know it's very difficult to go through these speeches because a speeches 10 to 15 pages ki hoti hain and there by taking out key pointers but if you have time if you have done with your uh, if you have done with your syllabus and you are doing continuous revision you can take up a uh, you can take up a day in a week let's say on sunday and you can go through the speeches the important ones and take out points see there are speeches on several topics and all of these topics are related to your static part global financial crisis pe mil gaya financial market pe mil gaya similarly you will get pointers on financial inclusion a very important topic from your exam perspective rbi ka bhi bahut zyada focus hai financial inclusion pe to aise jo topics hain usko aap yahan se filter out karke apne exam ke liye prepare kar sakte ho right so this was all for today i hope you enjoyed the session in case of any doubt please feel free to make use of the comment section and also please remember that you are going to practice all of your answer writing in an exam like environment what do i mean by exam like environment making use of the audio clip that i had sent you in one of the previous video the first video on finance answer writing so to aap keyboard ki music jo hogi wo play karoge keyboard sound and then you are going to practice your answer writing so take care students all the very best all the very best don't be afraid one thing that i can advise you is practice hard practice hard as much as you can work hard re revise everything that is there and be composed enough so that you can write better in the examination so 
बाय एंड टेक केयर थैंक यू